Hey YouTube, this is Bill. I hope you enjoyed those sound demonstrations. I was pleasantly surprised myself. So let's talk about the competition at this point. Oh, by the way, this is a picture of me a couple of years ago on my drums. Okay, some people are saying the sub two isn't enough. Of course, they're trying to use uh, a system that probably wasn't intended for such large audiences that they're tr or large spaces that they're trying to fill. Again, I'm talking um, live performers, DJs. And it's usually also not usually, but often outside. So the next step up, if a sub two is not good enough for you, it's it's peaking on red, it's 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 clipping, then this is the next logical step up. This is this particular sub is an 18 inch subwoofer, QSC KS118, 3600 watts compared to 1000 watts of the sub two, 18 inch subwoofer. And the price is slightly higher, not that much higher. So it's not really a price difference. Uh, the weight is huge. This is uh, over 100 pounds, I believe 104 pounds, compared to 52 pounds. So nothing that I'm going to be taking to a local small gig. So again, this is a different category of subwoofer. Uh, DJs um, often use two of these. Thir 136 dB in comparison to 128, so much, much louder. So again, for the, for the people that are saying the sub two is not enough, then this is the next logical step up. But again, this is not a portable system. And it also it goes down to 35 Hertz instead of 37. So it, it's, just, it's just a superior product all around. Okay, so let's talk about the direct competition to the Bluetooth portable battery operated system that I'm claiming is the best in the world. This is a model that's coming out in June, this June. It's called, let's see what it's called. It's called the Diamond Box XL2. It's $1,800. Now, the, the downside that I wrote in big letters right here is there's no pole mount. So even though it's loud, if you try to play this outdoors, it would be sitting on a table or on the floor, you're gonna lose a lot of volume. If you were trying to play a gig outside with, with 100 people or more, again, you need a pole mount. You need to be able to project that sound out to the crowd. You don't want it, something low hitting the people's legs. You're just gonna lose all, all that sound. So that's, this is, a com again, this is a completely different type of system. It does get loud though. Um, another deal breaker for me is the battery is built in. So every battery that is produced eventually needs to be replaced, including the new electric car batteries too. So this is at $1,800. What's going to happen when this battery is ready for replacing? Well, there's a good chance the, the manufacturer is just going to say they don't replace the battery. You have to buy a new unit. So this might be a deal breaker for many of us. I know it is for me. Let's see some of the statistics on this particular unit. So right here, it, it says it goes up to 121 dB output, which is excellent. Again, the Bose Pro 32 Sub two goes up to 128, seven dB, seven dB more, which is almost twice the power. So it's considerable, and especially if it's the, the, the column array, which is so high up projecting the sound, like I mentioned. It has a thousand watts total, in comparison to the, uh, the Bose system, which has 1480. So again, the Bose is more powerful. And this part, I'm not so sure about. It, they claim it goes down to 35 hertz. That is even lower than the sub two, which goes down to 37 hertz. So if this is a large speaker, I, I guess it's 30 pounds, 40 pounds, whatever, but it's nowhere near the size of the sub two. So again, physics tells us it's almost impossible to, to play at any kind of volume at 35 hertz. So that's the part they don't tell you. They say it might go down to 35 hertz, but 
maybe it goes down, it, it, it rolls off at, I don't know, 80 dB, 90 dB, where the sub two is rated at 128 dB. Okay, so, and I've tested it myself. You might have seen it in other videos where I can, I played the sub two over 100 dB uh, and I was getting that full 30, 37 hertz. So I, I, again, I don't believe this unit can compare. But again, I have not listened, I have not heard this in person. As a matter of fact, I'll state it right now. I haven't heard any of these units except one at the very end. I'll, I'll share with you the one unit that I did here in person. Okay, let's move on. Okay, this to me is, is the direct competitor. This is called the Soundbox Generation 3. They've been around for a while. And this is as far as volume. So when I say the loudest deep uh, Bluetooth speaker in the world, this is the closest, but it's not quite there. It's 126 decibels. And again, in comparison to the Bose system, which is 128. Two decibels is very slight difference. This, this speaker has two 10 inch woofers. It's 34 pounds. It is pole mountable. So that's great. Uh, people are using this to DJ. People are using this. Um, it's portable. It has a great battery built in. So this to me is, is the direct competitor to the system I built. Uh, it's $1,000. So the system I built is um, over 3,000. So you, technically you can get three of these for that same price and they do pair wirelessly. So this, I would love to hear this. I have never heard it. I would love to hear three of them compared to my system. But again, um, I've read some reviews. These, the two 10 inch speakers, they do a lot of mid bass. They do do a little thumping at a close range, but it's not a real subwoofer. Again, they have everything, all the electronics, the high end uh, tweeters and the bass modules, two, two 10 inch buffers into one box. So I don't know if it can, it can compare it to what you, I hope you were able to hear in my demonstration, but this is something I would like to hear. So if anybody has any experience, please give some comments about the, the Soundbox Generation 3. Okay, this is called the JBL Party Box. I believe it's the 300. It's only $500. And it's in a different category. It's 240 watts. It is battery powered, but JBL is really cornering the market on the battery powered party speakers, I, I, I don't think this can compare, but I just wanted to add this because it's very popular. And so for that $500, again, you can get multiples. So how two of these would sound, or I, I believe they can pair again wirelessly, I, I do not know. I've never heard this be, before. This is an interesting speaker. This is from Europe, and I believe it's about to be available in the States. It's called the Rockster. And it, the, it, go, it says it goes up to 122 dB, which is very loud. But if you look at it, it's so large, it comes with wheels. It's, I, I didn't get the exact weight, but it, it's heavy. I don't think, I don't believe it's pole mountable. It does have a battery built in, but it's very, very heavy and it needs wheels to wheel it around, and I, one of the comments was, when it's played at a loud volume, people are hearing vibration from the wheels. So I don't know. Again, never heard it. Actually, this is just coming out, but it's supposed to be very powerful. I can't give much more information about that, but 122 B, dB still doesn't compare with 128 of the Bose system. Six dB more, again, is almost twice the power. This is again the, the same system I just shared with you. Uh, it, it goes down to 40, 45 hertz on the low end compared to 37 of the sub two, and that's a considerable difference. So again, this, is, this has good bass, 45 hertz is good, but it probably doesn't thump like, a, like a, the, the real subwoofer that the Bose sub two is. And again, how loud? the base gets, I don't know. They don't give you those, that critical statistics. Okay, this is the one I have heard. This is 
not considered a DJ speaker. No, no one uses that for DJ. This is a home hi-fi hi speaker. I mentioned it before in some of the videos I've done. It's, it's, called, it's, it's a French speaker called DB, DBLA Phantom Gold. It puts out 108 dB, again, compared to 128 dB of the Bose system. That, so that's a huge difference. There is no pole mount. Again, there was never, this isn't intended to be a DJ speaker or a live performing speaker. There is no battery. And here's the surprising part of it. It's $3,200 and more expensive than the Bose system. This is not a musician system, so you don't have any inputs for a guitar. You can't, can't do karaoke with this, can't plug in a microphone. So again, this is considered a home hi-fi system. It's a mono speaker for that price. Most people on the web who, who purchase these, they say you, you need two of them to make, to make it sound proper or get the most out of it. Now you're talking about 6,400 for two of them. Pretty expensive. Now, I have heard, not this particular speaker, the gold version, I heard the silver version, and I was very, very impressed. The bass was, was incredible. It's a, it, this, this thing is the size of a big bowling ball. How they do the technology on this, is, it's really amazing. It is a Bluetooth speaker, but again, no battery built in. The, the specs here say 108 dB, and it goes down to 14 hertz. Again, that's, that's pretty much impossible at any kind of volume. So it, I, I did hear it. It, got, it was nice. I, di I didn't test how loud it was at that nice um, thumping bass. Maybe it was 90 dB. Again, but it's nothing like the Bose Sub 2 that is putting out uh, strong bass at over 100 dB that I've measured in my home. So again, this is this is an incredible speaker. The technology is 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 a mystery to me how they can can produce that amount of sound in a in the size of a bowling ball. And it's pretty heavy. You, know, you lift it up, it's about I don't know about thirty pounds. It says it's a, over a thousand watts. It's it's impressive. Going back to JBL, this is their new Party Box One Thousand. Again, a lot of a lot of talk on the web about the JBL products. This the JBL Party Box Three Ten, and and now they have the th the party. This is their most powerful unit. Twelve hundred dollars, and JBL doesn't give us max dB figures. So if anybody has this unit, I would love to know what what you're able to bring it up to. They don't give us the figures. Um, I've read some reviews. It says the bass on this is better than the sound box that we talked about. They said the bass is really good. This is not battery powered, so that's a big difference, and not very portable. Let's see if I have the weight for you. No, I don't see the weight. It's a 12 inch speaker. It's a thousand watts. Again, it says it goes down to 30 Hertz HC. Again, sub two, 37 Hertz. My question is at what volume, max volume does it go down to 30? I don't believe it can, can cleanly play at 30 Hertz anywhere near 100 dB like the sub two can. This particular speaker is, is heavy. I just don't have the figure in front of me. In my videos, I mentioned the Bose L1 system is not just a DJ speaker, it's a musician speaker. Uh, you might want to check this out on the web. Pat Metheny, I mentioned him again in the past videos. Uh, this is on, on YouTube that he toured with this system. If you know Pat Metheny, he's a professional acoustic, acoustic electric guitarist. He played with Johnny Mitchell and He's considered one of the top guitarists in that, that genre, jazz guitarist. And anyway, he toured with the Bose L1 system for eight months. He played 800 gigs with it, and he had 13 L1 columns on stage. Very interesting. So again, I don't, I don't think he's going to go on, on tour with the JBL units, the party box systems. And I don't think any DJ is going to be DJing with those party box systems either. 
a little different. Okay, I just want to show you one more time. This is the app, the L1 Pro app. And then uh, I, I split the screen. And that's a, it's a really nice way to do it if, you, if, if you're trying to play backing tracks. So you, you have your backing tracks on your left. You have your L1 Pro 32 on the right. Makes it really convenient. Okay, so that's the end of the, the, the comparison, the shootout. Now it's up to the YouTube listeners to decide what is the best Bluetooth speaker in the world. Is it the system I built? If it is, um, I would be happy to take the, the congratulations. Or can you, you, can you make a comment that something else you think can outperform it? Now that you've heard it, you've seen the portability of it, the 13 pound battery, the lightweight of the system. The only heavy part of that system is the, is the 52 pound subwoofer. You take that away, everything else is featherweight. Okay, I enjoyed making the video. Please subscribe. I'm gonna be making more videos in the future. And that is the end.